Hello everyone! Today we're going to be creating a collagraph. A collagraph is a type of printmaking process where we are cutting out materials from this, this is foam. We're going to glue the foam onto a cardboard and then later use this piece to print with. So before you begin, you want to get your material set up. These are just thin, small sheets of cardboard. That's going to be used as our plate. And then at your table, you will have some craft foam. You can also use other materials in a collagraph, but for us today, we're going to get the most control out of using this. Other tools you're going to need are scissors. You could use the wavy scissors with the fun different edges and even a hole puncher. Then you'll also need a bottle of glue. You'll want to plan what design you're going to create. It could be an abstract design. It could be, um, it could be an image of something, maybe like a person or a landscape. And what you want to do is just begin by cutting your craft foam and starting to lay your pieces on and coming up with what sort of design you want to make. And it can hang off the edges for right now. And then after it's glued, you could always trim those off and make it nice and neat. And so I'm just kind of playing around here a little bit with a design idea. And I could continue. When you are happy with your design, you do want to take care of gluing. So what I recommend is gluing all of the edges. Okay, you want to be really careful with the gluing part because when we roll the printmaking roller over these, you don't want your pieces to come off. We've had that problem in the past before. So take your time to do it right. After you've cut your design and you glue all your pieces down, I'll show you a finished one. Here's one. And this one you can see I use those wavy craft scissors. I also use the hole puncher to cut out some of the holes. Um, right now it's drying. I have my name on the back. And so this is going to go on the drying rack. Don't put it in your portfolio, okay? And then the next class we come, we're going to begin to print. For printing day, what you're going to do is set up your workspace again. This time you'll need a placemat. You'll need your clean paper that you'll be printing your design onto. It's good to write your name on these first because once it's wet, you tend to forget. So write your name on those. And then we'll have a section set up for printing and to print, we're going to use printmaking ink. It's kind of like paint, it's just a little thicker, a little stickier. And then we're going to use our rolling tool again. This is called a brayer. And what you want to do is pulling down in one direction, you want to ink up your brayer. So it looks like it's even on all sides. And then over your placemat, You'll roll the brayer on top of your collagraph, inking up if you need more. If you have room, you could put a finger down on the cardboard edge. And then you want to maybe push these materials aside because you want to make sure that you don't have any ink in your workspace when you do this step. So for this step, you're going to Try to center your collagraph right in the middle of your clean sheet of paper you're printing. And then you want to carefully flip this over and using a flat hand, rub. And I can feel the bumpies through it. So I want to make sure I rub all edges, all of my foam shapes. Nice flat hand. And then when I think I've gotten around everything, You'll carefully peel, and that is your print, okay? So you can print up to as many prints as you can make in the class time. I would recommend you have at least three, okay? And you can use different colors of ink, use a different tray and a different brayer. Somebody else can use the screen, and you'll find a different tray and a different brayer of the other color. All right, when you are finished, all of your prints must be labeled with your name and your code, 
and your prints and your collagraph go together on the drying rack. Do not throw your collagraph away. And obviously, because it's mostly made out of cardboard, you cannot wash these off, okay? So we'll just be inking up over the old colors. All right.